It's time to reinvent our relationship with energy. The energy system as we know it is changing on a massive pace. Today, I'll be going through some factors that affect the global energy system and also the solutions that are needed to cope with these. What we're witnessing around the world is a monumental change on the main pillar of every modern society. Energy powers our infrastructure. Energy enables industrial and economic growth. Energy independence is critical for national security. And energy is responsible for 80% of the global emissions. That is a huge problem and the main one we need to address when talking about global emissions and cutting them. We're transitioning towards an energy system that is drastically different from what we're used to. Energy transition leads to inflexible energy production as renewables aren't available at all times. Compared to the previous, when fossil fuels were the main energy source, they could be deployed whenever needed. So as previously, we adjusted the production to be on par with consumption. Nowadays, we have to adjust the consumption to be on par with the energy production. So the tables are literally turning around. As electrification progresses, we need smarter grids and more transmission capacity. Another challenge is to be able to transport the energy to where it is needed or to store it for later use. On top of this, power consumption is estimated to be three times higher by 2050 than what it is today, and this has huge impacts on the grids. External shocks have their own negative impacts on the energy systems. Wars, natural catastrophes, all impact the energy systems in their own different way, and every country must build its own energy system to be resilient against these shocks. What this means for households is that they have more expensive energy and more volatile prices. At the same time, consumers are also not what they used to be like. Consumers want more control over their own energy matters. People like you, once distant observers, are now taking the driver's seat and shaping the energy landscape of the future. The narrative we're all part of revolves around a shared commitment to less carbon intensive choices to care for our planet. Households around the world are doing their own micro level energy transitions by installing solar panels, batteries, even wind turbines to power up their own homes and reduce their dependency of the public grid. The energy company business is also changing as we speak. There is a urgent need for new digital ways to communicate, guide, and help customers steer their consumption to better hours. Energy companies have traditionally not been the ones building software, but nowadays even that assumption is changing. Household consumption habits can have huge impacts on the actual energy company businesses, and new ways to steer consumption to the better hours are needed. At the same time, this is not just a play between consumers and energy companies. In fact, we see the energy transition as a dynamic partnership between households, energy companies, and countries. We need sectoral integration, and we need a lot of it. The consumption profiles of households are changing. EVs are taking over combustion engine vehicles, solar panels power more and more homes, and traditional heating sources, such as gas boilers or oil boilers, are being replaced by heat pumps. Increasing amounts of households have hourly-based electricity contracts. So we need a new layer of intelligence that controls these devices and energy resources in a smart way for your wallet and for the planet. This massive amount of new hardware requires the smart software that makes the equation work for everyone. Not even mentioning new smart meters, home batteries, whatnot. In the future, everything can be connected by software and the industry is already moving forward in leaps. On the other hand, we also need to enable the utilities to become more digital so that they can build these solutions for their customers. Electrification around the world is growing rapidly, which can be seen as a huge growth in the amounts of EVs, solar panels, and heat pumps. All of these examples are factors that will massively influence how utility companies and transmission companies can operate. Once we can optimize the consumption for all stakeholders, not only for the benefit of one, we can create more stable, greener, and efficient grids. Our societies can run on renewables, even during days where we don't have a lot of renewables, or the sun ain't shining, which I bet you haven't been seeing a lot during your visit in Helsinki. All these reasons mentioned led us to start Synergy. 
We've been developing a centralized place for all household energy resources, and our software is already helping thousands of households around Europe to reduce their, reduce their electricity bill and help balance out the grid. Our product today packs a roster of different smart modes for households to help them optimize their consumption. Everything is done without extra hardware as we connect directly to the energy resources themselves. We got started with smart charging for EVs. It's an easy way for EV owners to use the cheap hours of the day to start ch charge. No need to plug in your EV in the middle of the night to start charging. Smart charging alone is helping our users save over 50% of their annual charging costs. Next, we moved on to developing our Solar Smart feature. Solar Smart packs features such as solar charging and solar monitoring. With solar charging, users can use their own solar to charge their EVs. This results in cost free and emission free charging. Solar charging users are already saving over 200 euros per year in taxes and transmission fees. And today, I'm super happy to announce that we're launching our Smart Climate product. It's one of the first heat pump optimization products in the market for consumers. With Smart Climate, we optimize heat pump usage according to the preferred indoor temperature and the spot electricity prices. All is done without extra hardware or installer visits as we connect to the heat pumps themselves. Our Smart Climate will be available to all of the 20 million heat pumps in Europe from this day on, and it will help you save up to 20% of your heating costs during the upcoming winter. But this is just the beginning. We're working on integrating into all household energy resources, such as thermostats, direct heating, smart meters, and much more. With Synergy, we want to take away the need for worrying about your energy matters and let you focus on living. Our vision is to enable a zero carbon economy for everyone. We'll reach this with increased collaboration and sectoral integration between households, individuals, energy companies, and countries. Join us on our mission as we reinvent our relationship with energy. I'm Antti Hammanen. Thanks a lot, Swash, for having me here, and I wish you all a great rest of the event here in Helsinki.